If you want to get a final order, you must go to uh, the hearing. Yeah, you, the petitioner, <laughs> must go to the hearing. <laughs> Now, when I uh, motion the court, yes, mm -hmm, for modification, yeah, am I considered the petitioner or the respondent? I just wanted to know. Yeah. See, it says here the court will review uh -huh, upon motion of the respondent. Yes. But it doesn't say the court will review uh, if the the respondent petitions the court. Yes. When does my identity change from the respondent to the petitioner? <clears throat> is is not the same. <clears throat> I'm always going to be the respondent, even if I did motion the court. Yes, and since uh, motion the court for modification or termination, yes, I'm obligated to serve the petitioner. Yes. <clears throat> And in every state, county, and city of the United States, any time I want to use any court in this nation, yes, I have to serve the petitioner, yes, that didn't acknowledge your court order, yes. And even though the RCWs of the civil law of this state require you to go to the hearing, yes, to be able to issue a protection order, yes, you say that it was issued according to the requirements of state law and all state laws, yes, and all federal laws. Move. Now, it says here in this uh, this ex explanation of these things, yes, women's law, you must go to the hearing. You must go. Was she there? Did she go to the hearing, Brent? Yes. Did the petitioner actually go to the hearing? <clears throat> she didn't sign it. Yes. I wasn't there. You didn't give me notice of it. Yes. Was there a petitioner at the hearing? 